Hello friends. So today, uh, continuing the binary search series I'm working on. This is another hard problem from Lead Code. Problem name: Find kth smallest pair distance. So as you can see in the question statement, you are given an integer array as you can see, and you have to return out the kth smallest distance among all the pairs. What a distance is? The distance of a pair AB is defined as the absolute difference between A and B. So okay, you are given some numbers. and now between these numbers you can define distance as a difference between any two numbers and now if you sort all the differences among all the pairs you have to output the kth smallest one so that's the whole question now we're going to take some uh, drawing to even make this question more clear which is 113 so let's let's first load this page so clear it out yeah so as you can see uh, what 1 3 uh, 1 the difference is is if you like sort it out it will be more clear difference can be 1 1 which is 0 like if you take the dis difference between this the di this difference is 2 and this difference is again 2 if you sort them out this is the sorted form and if you want to find out the like the first smallest one the first smallest one is this only which is 0 so the answer is 0 i hope you get the point how we are getting the kth smallest one in the brute force way so in the brute force way like you can just uh, find out the difference between every two pair and like sort them out and find out the one which is the small or the kth one but this is not optimal to find out in this particular way so what you can easily do here is uh, you can also pause the video here and like like find out how we can solve this problem using mind research so but we're going to start how to implement this problem let's draw it some larger test case which is like 1 1 3 4 5 7 okay now the thing here is can we find out the sum can we find out the sum or uh, like the number of pairs which which has a particular difference what i mean by this is like can i find out the number of pairs which has a difference less than or equal to d so what i mean by this is uh, as you can see in this if i sort the whole array and let's assume i want to find out the number of pairs who has a difference of less than equal to 3 how i can find it out uh, what i can do here is because there is sorted i can use two pointer approach i can put one pointer here and one pointer here i know that the difference between these two points is zero okay so now move out my pointer to the next point i can see that the difference between these two points is 2 which is like again less than 3 so i can again move down this pointer to this point i can see that the difference between these two points is 3 now so what does this mean that between these two numbers because the numbers are sorted if i take this as the first number how many numbers i can take as a pair for this which has a uh, like which has a difference less than equal to 3 as you can see i can take three numbers so because this is sorted i can easily see that okay if i take this as a first number i can take both like all these three numbers as a second number so then this can form a pair which has a difference of less than equal to 3 so the first point is 3 now move the pointer left to the another point and see that okay whether for this again can i move it further again ahead if i move further ahead 5 minus like 5 minus 1 is 4 so which is greater than 3 so let this pointer stay here so which means that all the numbers between this if i take this as a first number and both of them as a second number then they will form a pair which has which has a difference of less than equal to 3 so i will find out here which is equal to 2 now move my left pointer again to this point which is 3 so now as you can see now i can move my right pointer to this point which is fine because 5 minus 3 is equal to 2 okay if i move to here then it is wrong but as you can see now if i move this right pointer here how many pairs i can form using this as a first number so they are equal to two numbers so two then i again move down to this pointer left to the here so left is moving at every point like it, this is like an o of n for every position i will see how what is the position of the right pointer because right pointer is also moving just once from left to right so that's why it is as o of n approach to find out how many pairs are there For five, four to be here, I can move seven to this point. Which is seven minus four, it's three, so it is fine. So number of pairs in the form is two again. For five, because it is in the end, you cannot move further again. You can move to this point, which is fine. So the pair for this is one. 
and for seven it is again like no. So the total number of pairs is the so total summation of this. If the total number of pairs which has a difference of less than equal to three is this. So that's how you can get how many pairs are there. Now you can do a brute like a binary search approach in which you can do a binary search over the minimum difference I can get. So what I mean by there is like as you can see like the the maximum difference I can get is because this is the first number and this is the like the minimum and the maximum number the difference between them is six so i cannot get a difference bigger than six because i want to find out or actually i want to minimize the difference the question statement states that you have to find out the kth uh, kth smallest so because c after adding them it is equal to three four five six seven eight nine nine numbers so what i mean by this is if i take a difference equal to three then like if I have a difference equal to 3 then I can see that there are 9 pairs which means that that if I have a minimum distance of 3 then it will be the ninth position because 9 pairs are there which has a difference of less than equal to 3 so if I take out 3 as the minimum difference then it like it should be ninth because ninth is the possible answer for this I hope you get my point so that's the whole trick for this problem then because like let's assume that i want the second one so because it is ninth i don't want to take this i want much smaller than so i have to go i want to move my left pointer i don't want to move my left pointer because i want to decrease my this value so i will move my right pointer to the mid okay and i will do the same binary search thing i will doing in this whole series and then i will do the same same thing again finding out how many pairs are there which has less than equal to d value so because like because there are nine pairs which means that if i sort those all those numbers out the ninth pair will have a difference of less than or equal to three which has a difference maximum up to three all the other pairs which has a difference of greater than three and all the difference or all the pairs of less than nine has a total difference of three so, so it means that if i want to find out the number of pair which has uh, the difference equal to three it's the ninth pair so if that's how i can get that okay what is the number of pair i want so that's the whole logic for this problem i can take it on to the code part now it will make it more clear so as you can see in this code part uh, we first sorted out the whole array then n is the total size of this nums difference is the last minus the first element which will get the maximum difference i can get so as you can see for the binary search value the difference can be the difference maximum difference can be between the largest minus the smallest element and the smallest difference can be if both the elements are same which is zero so smallest is zero maximum is a difference and i will do the same binary search uh, algorithm i've been using in the whole binary search series which is mid equal to l plus r divided by 2 and okay is a function which will find out this how many pairs are there and if the number of pairs is less than or equal to k then okay r is equal to mid else l equal to mid plus 1 and this is return on l so how this function is working We're moving from left to right j is the right pointer and i is the left pointer for every i pointer i will move my j pointer in a while loop and i will keep on moving such that my a of i yeah, like a of j minus a of i is less than or equal to it after this my j is actually a point ahead at which it should be so i will do a j minus minus then the number of pairs i can form is just j minus i and i will add this number of pairs in total like how many pairs i can form and if the, if the number of pairs is greater than or equal to k then i will draw true else i will draw false so that's the whole logic for this problem if you still haven't asked me like you can rewatch this video again and you can also comment down in the com like comment section if you still have any doubts thank you for watching this video and more videos are coming soon so stay tuned i'll see you in the next one keep coding bye